subscribe to the clickyourshop.com YouTube channel and like Click Your Shop on Facebook for the latest updates and promotions. Hello everybody, this is ZY and today we'll be taking a look at the Yongnu RF603 version 2. Now the RF603 version 2s are a set of wireless flash transceivers by Yongnu. Now the version 2 is the successor to the original RF603 with minor improvements such as a hot shoe locking mechanism and selectable modes. It comes in Canon and Nikon versions, so be sure to get the correct version for your camera. So this is not a TTL flash trigger system, so TTL information is not transmitted. It is advised to use a manual mode on your silly flashes when using this system. The unit is powered by two AAA batteries, there is a shutter release port on the side and a PC synchronization port on the back. On the top of the unit are two indicator LEDs, one for receiving and one for transmitting. We have a three position switch on the side and there is a shutter release button on the top. The RF603 version 2 supports up to 16 channels set using a 4-bit switch in the battery compartment. Because the RF603 is a transceiver, so each unit can be used as either a transmitter or a receiver. Now the way you use this is very simple. All you have to do is just attach one unit to your camera hot shoe. So this unit that is attached to the camera hot shoe will be functioning as the transmitter. And then you attach your flash to another unit. So this unit here will function as the receiver. So make sure the units uh, are on the same channel. And then when you take a picture on your camera, the flash will be fired. So on the transmitter unit, the trigger signal can actually pass through the transmitter. So if you want an on-camera flash as well, you can still attach a flash to the unit and then the flash will also be triggered simultaneously while it's transmitting the trigger signal to the receiver. Now the RF603 version 2s are also compatible with the original RF603s, the version 1s, so there is no problem using the two different versions together. Now the RF603s can also be triggered by a Yongnuo 560 Mark IV or a 560TX. So the 603 version 2 features two modes, a TX mode and a TRX mode. When it is in TX transmitter mode, the unit will be set to transmit only. It will not be able to function as a receiver when it is in TX mode. In TRX transceiver mode, it will automatically set itself to function as a transmitter or a receiver. Now the 603 version 2 can even be used as a wired remote shutter release. First of all, set your 603 version 2 to TRX mode and then connect the 603 to your camera using a shutter release cable. So the shutter release cable depends on what camera you're using because every camera has a different shutter release port. So connect it to your camera using the cable. And then when you half press the shutter button on the 603 version 2, the camera will focus and then you can take a photo by pressing it down fully. Now this is very useful for long exposure photos whereby you want to prevent camera shake by remotely triggering the shutter as pressing the shutter button on the camera itself can cause the camera to shake. Now this can also function as a wireless shutter release unit. One unit has to be connected to a camera via a shutter release cable which we have already done. And then all you have to do is take another unit, put it into TRX mode as well and then you can just simply use the shutter button on the unit again to trigger the camera wirelessly. Again, half press to focus, press it down fully to take a picture. The RF603s are also fully compatible with the built-in receivers on the YN560 Mark III and Mark IV flashes. So these units will be able to wirelessly trigger 563s and 4s in RX mode right out of the box. So the RF603 version 2s can also trigger RF605 units that are in TRX mode. However, the 6032 does not support grouping, so all flashes will be triggered regardless of their groups. So that is pretty much it about the Yongnu RF603 version 2. If you're interested in purchasing this item, be sure to buy it directly from clickyourshop.com. To check it out, please follow the link on the screen. The link will also be in the description below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and like the Click Your Shop Facebook page for the latest updates and promotions. So that is it everybody, thanks for watching.